Hey all, today we're kicking off a four-part series on getting more value from Apple's stock applications and how these interact with each other. In this first episode, we're diving into the Reminders app, an app that many have overlooked for years, but one that's been steadily gaining useful updates. Whether you've only used Reminders for simple shopping lists or maybe not at all, you'll learn tips and tricks to make it a go-to task manager. We'll start with how to capture tasks, then move into different ways to organize them. And we'll wrap up with cool features like sharing tasks, widgets, and how Reminders interacts with other Apple applications. With that said, let's get started. A solid to-do system starts with capturing tasks the moment they come into mind, and Reminders makes this surprisingly easy. On your iPhone or iPad, just open up the app, tap the plus icon, and type in your task. With iOS 26 and iPadOS 26, things get even quicker. You can now add a dedicated Reminders control to your control center. That means no matter what you're doing on your phone, a quick swipe gives you instant access to add a new task very quickly. By the way, if you want to control where those tasks land, head into the reminder settings and choose your default list. That way, every quickly added reminder goes to the right place. Many of my to-dos pop into my head while I'm driving, and that's where Siri comes in handy. Just say something like, hey Siri, remind me to pack my passport tomorrow at 9 a.m., and it'll instantly create a reminder with the date and time already set. Another handy Siri and reminders trick works right inside Safari. Just say, remind me about this when browsing the web, and Siri will create a reminder that includes a direct link back to the page you're viewing. You can also create reminders using the share button available in many applications. From Safari, Maps, Podcasts, and more, just tap the share icon and send the content directly to reminders. For instance, if you share a map location, the reminder will include a link back to that spot. Later, when you tap the reminder, it takes you straight to the Maps application, perfect for a quick follow-up without having to search for something again. In short, Reminders is starting to feel much more integrated into the things you already do on your device. I really like this flexibility of being able to add tasks no matter what I'm doing. Whether I'm typing, asking Siri, or sharing directly from another app, Reminder fits naturally into my workflow. And, in my experience, the easier a to-do app blends into everyday life, the more likely I am to actually use it consistently. I'll be honest, I've tried going a little too far with organizing my reminders before. I had lists for work, lists for personal projects, shared lists, sections, smart lists, and many other things. And you know what? It ended up being more distracting than helpful. I was spending more time managing the list than actually adding tasks to them. These days, I keep things very simple with just a couple of lists. But the nice thing is, Reminders has tons of organizing features you can use if you need them. So let's take a look at some of the most useful ones. Some tasks are just too big to check off in one go. And that's where subtasks come in. Think of them as little checklists tucked under a bigger task. Say I have a reminder called pack for trip. Instead of one big item, I can break it down into subtasks like pack socks, charge camera batteries, and print travel docs. On iPhone, you can create a subtask by swiping right on a reminder to indent it, or by dragging one reminder onto another one. Of course, you can also go into a specific reminder, find the subtask section, and add all of your subtasks there, but I find this takes too many clicks and I'd rather just manage everything from the main reminder screen. We all know how you can set a due date and a time for a reminder and your device will give you a notch exactly when you need it. But with iOS, iPadOS, and macOS 26, this gets even smarter. You can now tie a reminder to a specific time zone. So let's say you create a buy tickets reminder and set that to 9 a.m in time zone Eastern time. That alert will always stick to that time zone even if you're traveling somewhere else. That means no more reminders firing off at the wrong hour just because you crossed into a different time zone. If you're on the West Coast but need to make that 9 a.m. purchase, reminders will ping you at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Super handy for travelers or anyone who works across regions. Now, let's talk about lists. At the core, you've got your basic list which you can create by tapping the new list icon and giving the list a name, icon, and color. For me, I keep it really simple. One personal list, which is my default, and one for YouTube, where I track tasks related to this channel. When I create a new reminder, 
I simply select the list I want to save this new task to, and that's it. I've tried having more lists before, but honestly, it just got messy. Reminders also gives you a few built-in smart lists. These update automatically and show things like everything due today, everything that's scheduled, or items you flagged. Personally, I turn most of these off because I don't need to see them all and you can delete them, but the options are still there if you need them. The real power comes with custom smart lists. You can create one yourself with filters that fit your workflow. For example, maybe you want a smart list that only shows tasks due in the next three days. Just create a new list, switch it to a smart list, set that filter, and it will always stay up to date for you. And then we have tags. Tags give you another layer of organization without needing more lists. Just type a hashtag like hashtag errand or hashtag vacation in a reminder, and later you can pull up all tasks with that tag across every list. Even better, you can combine tags like show me only the reminders that are marked as both hashtag work and hashtag urgent. I don't use tags a ton myself, but they're a great option if you like to slice and dice your tasks in different ways. Between lists, smart lists, and tags, you've got plenty of flexibility to keep everything organized, just make sure you don't overcomplicate it. Also worth mentioning in terms of organization is that within any given list, you can create sections to break things down further and group related tasks. Think of sections as subheadings or categories inside a list. For example, if you have a trip planning list, you might organize it with sections like packing, itinerary, and before travel. Under packing, you'd list items to pack. Under itinerary, you'd list reservations or places you want to visit, etc. This visual grouping helps prevent tasks from different areas from mixing together. On iPhone or iPad, you can add a section by tapping the ellipsis button in a list and choosing Add Section, then giving the section a name. You can drag reminders between sections freely and even reorder the sections themselves. Sections are especially useful for larger projects or broad lists where a single long scroll of tasks would be overwhelming. Reminders also offers a column view that takes your sections and displays them in parallel columns instead of one long list. When you switch to View as Columns, each section's name turns into a column header and the tasks in that section appear underneath it. This gives you a great big picture view of your list, almost like a Kanban board or a table. In iOS 26, there's now an auto-categorize option, toggle via the ellipsis menu with a little Apple intelligence icon. This option can intelligently group tasks in any list with a single tab. Essentially, Reminders will analyze the contents of your list and create logical sections for you. It's quite robust at making sensible categories on its own. Of course, you remain in control. If you don't like the way the AI group things, you can simply turn off auto-categorize to revert back to your manual list, no harm done. Or you can actually tweak the sections you created yourself. Between subtasks, tags, smart lists, sections, and these new time zone and auto-categorize tricks, Apple Reminders has become a bit of an organization powerhouse. The key is to pick the features that genuinely help you stay on top of things without creating extra overhead. In my experience, simplicity often wins, but it's great to know that there are all these options out available for us. We've talked about capturing tasks and organizing them, but Reminders has a few other tricks that make it even more useful day to day. Let's look at some of my favorites. Reminders isn't just for solo use. You can share lists with other people. Just tap the share button on any list, add someone through iMessage or email, and now you're both looking at the same list in real time. That means if you're planning a trip or a grocery list, you and your partner can both add tasks, check things off, and see updates instantly. You can even assign specific tasks to someone. Tap a reminder, choose a sign, and pick a contact. They'll get a notification and it shows up in their assigned to me list. It's a nice way to divide responsibilities without sending a bunch of extra messages back and forth. Another way to stay on top of tasks is by keeping them visible. With widgets, you can pin a list right to your home screen or lock screen. For example, 
I like adding the today widget so I can see what's due the moment I pick up my phone. And since widgets are also interactive, you can check things off without even opening the app. It's a small thing, but having your reminders front and center makes it much harder to forget them. This next feature is something that I find myself using quite a lot. That is, reminders also plays nicely with Apple's other stock applications. In Notes, you can share a note directly to Reminders, which creates a task with a link back to that note. That way, if you jotted down meeting notes or a project outline, you can tie it directly to a reminder so you won't lose track of it. Also, with the Mail app, you can do something similar. Highlight part of an email, I usually like highlighting the subject, hit the Share button, and send it to the Reminders. Now you've got a task that links straight back to that email, perfect for follow-ups or important action items buried in your inbox. I've even done something similar with Reddit where I saw a comment that I wanted to read more carefully later on and I knew that if I only saved it to my Reddit account or my Reddit list, I was never gonna go back to it. So I took a screenshot of it and instead of saving that screenshot to my photos, I shared it to reminders. This way, I created myself a reminder to go back and read that comment more carefully. And this reminder was perfect because you already had the picture or the screenshot that I took right there and then. So I didn't even have to open Reddit again. I just opened the reminder when I got the notification and read the comment again. Here's a newer update that I really like. Your reminders now show up in the calendar app. I won't go too deep into calendar just yet. That's coming in the next episode. But the idea is simple. You can see your scheduled tasks right alongside your scheduled events. It makes planning your day a lot more natural because you're looking at your meetings and your to-dos in the same place. You can even add new reminders directly from the calendar app. Again, in the next episode, we're going to dive into Apple Calendar. We'll look at how events and reminders work together, plus some scheduling tricks that can make your day run a lot smoother. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So that's Apple Reminders. We looked at how to quickly capture tasks, whether by typing, using Siri, or sharing from other apps, and then how to organize them with subtasks, lists, smart lists, tags, and sections, and even the new time zone and auto categorize features in iOS 26. We also saw how Reminders connects with other apps, where you can share and assign tasks, keep them visible with widgets, link them to notes or emails, and even view them right inside the calendar app. The big takeaway here is this. Reminders has evolved way beyond being just a simple checklist. It's integrated, flexible, and built right into every Apple device you own. Use it as your catch-all brain dump and it'll help you stay on top of things without adding extra friction. Just make sure you don't overcomplicate your system. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.